Adiban managed to trick his opponent's Spanish grandmaster, Renier Vasquez, quite early on in the game. Let's find out what happened. Adiban, three and a half out of four. Tell us about your game today. Yeah, it was uh, Sicilian scavenger. It was a hybrid of uh, many systems. And then uh, finally at some point, uh, he went for this E5 move, which I was, I think it was not accurate. He has to maybe wait. But then I got this uh, um, like slightly better position. But then uh, I think he just uh, kind of uh, lost uh, track and he just blundered the pawn. And then after that, actually even after that, uh, it was quite interesting. At some point, uh, he had to walk with the king to the center of the board and then he makes a draw. Uh, but he didn't see it. So without that, I think, uh, uh, I think it was uh, just when he played... Uh, Bishop c5, yeah, he had to take the knight at some point. Yeah, the knight was hanging on e2, and then I go rook f8, and then the king comes to e6. Yeah, it was fun. I just thought, okay, if it is a draw that way, it will be at least entertaining. Yeah, so it's, it was, uh, yeah. So you always play for entertainment? Yeah, sure. <laughs> now, he, you said he went wrong for the second time with bishop c5 because he also missed your little trick with bishop f7 earlier. Yeah, that's true. Like, same square, yeah, twice. <laughs> I didn't notice that. Nice point. Right. Now, uh, was it still a task to convert after you won the pawn on f7? You said he still had some uh, drawing chances? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, he has these two bishops and uh, so I have to be quite careful to, uh, I mean, convert the pawn. But okay, then I tried this knight e2 which uh, worked well actually for this game, yeah. And tell us, uh, you're on three and a half out of four. Are you pleased with the score and the way you've been playing here? Yeah, so far, yeah. Just uh, the second game, actually, I had a really good chance, but okay, it was my trainer. So I'll try to pretend that I didn't want to win that game, even though <laughs> I got a <laughs> very good portion. Yeah, I, apart from that, yeah, because I got a really good chance that game, and I was a little bit upset that. Uh, uh, but so far, after that, I won two games, so like uh, quite happy with how the tournament is going on. Your trainer will be love us here. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Tell us a bit about the experience of. Uh, you worked with him several times, but yeah, yeah. playing him over the board. Yeah, I know that he is like, uh, if, I, if I can say, even maybe crazier than me when it comes to like, like. Uh, so I know how he plays. So <laughs> I was <laughs> expecting a full-fledged battle. And uh, yeah, it was a very interesting game. And yeah, working with him has been quite nice for some time. Yeah, because he has worked with all the... Uh, team of uh, Karpo first and then uh, our own Anand and uh, so yeah, it was nice uh, to play with him. But it's also tricky, you know, playing against your uh, own trainer who knows you extremely well. Yeah, but this was not the first time. Uh, so I'm okay and also I play quite a variety of uh, openings so I can always find some line which we have not worked together. <laughs> How's it been playing in Gibraltar so far? How are you liking it? Yeah, it's been like I'm returning after uh, some three or four years so I'm like very happy to be back to the rock. <laughs> right, well we wish you all the best for the remaining rounds. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thanks.